Hi friends, this is Mrs. Aidnick and we're going to be reading a nonfiction book called Rainy Weather Days. I want you to pause the video and go get yourself a reading buddy. I'm gonna read with Buzz Lightyear today. He's going to be my reading buddy. And since we're gonna be reading about rain, we've got our umbrella. All right, we're ready to go. Looks like rain. Splish, splash. Grab your umbrella and boots. Let's go outside and find some puddles. It's going to be a rainy weather day. Spring can be a rainy season. Springtime flowers need rain to grow. Sometimes people say that April showers bring May flowers. Spring isn't the only time it rains. It can rain in summer, fall, and winter, too. Rain will turn icy if it is very cold outside. Icy rain is called sleet. Oh, friends, remember, we read nonfiction text to learn. I see this highlighted word here, sleet. Let's listen to find out what that word means. Sleet, rain that is partly frozen. So sleet is rain that is partly frozen. Can you turn to your reading buddy and tell them that? Sleet is rain that is partly frozen. Great job, friends. Let's keep reading. Raindrops come from clouds. A cloud is made of many tiny water droplets. The tiny droplets crash into each other. They make bigger drops. When the drops get too heavy, they fall as rain. Raindrops come from clouds. Good to remember. The smallest raindrops are the size of a tiny dot. Larger raindrops may be as big as a pea. Size of a small raindrop. Size of a large raindrop. So we can use our illustrations to help us learn also. So these illustrations are showing us the sizes of raindrops. A rain gauge is a long tube with a wide opening at the top. It is a tool that helps meteorologists measure how much rain falls during a storm. Oh, here's a couple more of those highlighted words. Let's find out what a rain gauge is. I'm not quite sure. Rain gauge. A tool used to measure how much rain has fallen. Oh, so a rain gauge is a tool. So I wonder if our illustration is showing us someone using a rain gauge. They're measuring how much water has fallen. Let's find out what this next word means. Meteorologist. Meteorologists. People who study Earth's weather. Ah, oh, this man must be a meteorologist. Can you turn to your reading buddy and tell him? Meteorologist, meteorologist, people who study the weather. Great job, friends. Rain fills up our lakes and rivers. It gives us water to drink and helps our food grow. Rain helps make life on Earth possible. It makes splashing in puddles possible, too. Can you turn to your reading buddy and tell them three things that you learned about rain? Three things. Say three things. Great job, friends. We're going to play a game with some vocabulary that we learned from our non Read the clue text. below. Click on the word it matches. Match all the words to uncover a picture. Tiny drops. Hmm, our first clue is tiny drops. So we have clouds, clouds puddles, puddles, sleet, sleet flowers, flowers, rain, rain gauge, gauge droplets. droplets. I remember reading that tiny drops are rain droplets. Let's check that one. Nice work. A tool used to measure how much rain has fallen. Oh, that one's an easy one. Do you remember? If you said rain, rain gauge... gauge. Nice work. We're thinking rain the that same is partly thing. frozen. Hmm. Rain that's partly frozen. I have clouds, puddles, 
sleet and flowers. What do you think it is? Sleet? Puddle. Let's check. Sleet. Nice work. The part of a plant that makes seeds or fruit. Hmm. I remember reading that rain came from clouds, so it wouldn't be clouds. And puddles, I know I like to splash in puddles. Let's check Puddle. flowers. Flowers. Nice work. Small pools of water on the ground. Oh, that one's easy. I love to splash in puddles. Puddles. Nice work. A large group of water droplets in the sky. Clouds can be white or gray. Hmm. Let's clouds. Check clouds. Nice work. Good job, friends. Thanks for learning with me today. I'll be so excited to see you next time. Bye.